so oh i did not love that picture in the previous video you can see them so my likes of the recent likes and that very image when you look down on the left on the very left far like let's name them one two three four five six the likes so on the left for number one is the one i was commenting on the german speaking person really fast so two three no, go far go down four you see a face of an actor i remember the movie one of them but that's not important no the actor is not it's just weird and strange but this doesn't really matter at all but it does matter it matters in the world because he is like insightful in a way which no one probably can see i don't know if in all the movies i don't know his name and i wonder is that the same or is it not the same but the real is so outrageous it is so beyond outrageous i mean i feel for him they talk about a, a delicate subject but the outrage about it as i said i don't know i have to look it up i open it right now because i don't remember exactly um what it was so the sensitivity with which he appears and and the brutal that's not honesty it's just mean this woman mistreats him it's so it hurts so much so it's not that i like the scene i like that the consciousness is being made it's all about consciousness when i like stuff or cool dance i like cool dance. when there's a real achievement going on and there's harmony to it and beauty in my life i like it too but i don't like stuff which has no beauty or or knowledge so it's, or it's wisdom or it's social critique or there is beauty and I like lots of dances, but they're not all the same beauty. So that is important consciousness. Yeah, and then I remember there is this Stuart. What's his name? The TV moderator. I always this and the other one. That's like they talk a lot, and that's a good thing. A lot. And comics, yeah, sometimes not really, but there something important had been said. I guess so. I remember that. And I used to like the philosophy. No, I must not to fuck that shit. I don't really give a shit. Because, but it brings subjects up. It brings, when there is a question where you have to matter yourself in thinking, be thoughtful, then I'm up for it to share because it, it's promoting internal approaches. If you look, that's what this is about for me. No, I can't look. What else is that to see? Um... like a lot but it's, it's, I, I don't think that's about liking i don't think instagram okay if it's art fine dance and music too yes sometimes most often although well there's stuff i don't really like the same <clears throat> there's something okay so here we go there are choreographies which are the same all the time but i don't like the intent with which it's presented there's no purpose to it or I don't, I, there's something I don't like about, so I don't like him. I'm sorry, I have to... <coughs> and music, I don't like all the styles. So there is classical, yeah, sometimes. But when I hear the word, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Sherazade? Sherazade? It's like polka dancing. <laughs> it's not It's not good for me. I don't like it. And I don't... And like all the, all the real roots I download, I'm sorry... <coughs> I don't download it. I put it, I, I send it in a message because I'm going to play my flute over it. I'm asked to. It doesn't mean I like it a lot. It's just a short reel and it's easy for me to access right now. To actually play it and that's it. And then it's going to cut off. I'm actually absolutely not into Asian. <laughs> None of them. I don't want to see any Asian. And not at all. So sometimes it's often, but it's really cool. But there is an Asian face. I don't want it. When there is movie reads, I'm usually not interested. Although, of course, I left the Paul Rudd because it's like priceless. It's funny because he acts like a little dummy always, like someone who's diminished. But he's the one, because he's diminished, he's not like on the front row, like I'm a galan. I'm like... He brings up subjects, issues, and that's cool. And it really talks out of my heart, that shit. I mean, how often did I went to? That's like, man, is it for real? That's why I left it, because I think it's important that we actually think about stuff. 
I'm not into movie reels at all. And mostly I kind of want to skip them. And if there's bad quality, I don't want to like it at all. I mean, quality, I mean bad quality in the image and in the sound quality, then eh, I don't want it. And comedians sometimes can be good, and often can they're not. And sometimes they're outrageous, and sometimes they're just bluntly stupid. So it's not all the same. You have must have a really strong point to be made for me to like a German comedian who isn't German, who speaks with some Arab accent. But there is no Nachoyote, there is no trailer trash speaking comedian ever. A comedian is a person who has a lot of insight and plenty of intelligence. Otherwise, he isn't a comedian. He's just a little puppet. Can't be on stage. So I welcome comedy. Like, as an entrance, sure. I look at it. But is it really good? Hmm. I, I, I don't must have comedy in my life at all. I never really... I never ever... I, is it even for real? I don't think Germany had that. <laughs> I would not, I would not want to go to a com comedy show. I only went twice because I had been invited. And that was like exactly arriving to a country and yeah, whatever. I'm not into that because mostly how can you come up with so many jokes and sit in there for an hour? Then you have to listen to a bunch of dumb shit similar to opera. <laughs> You have to sit there for three hours to get one good area going. <laughs> Someone said that to me and he was right. Of course, it depends on, on a lot of things. And comedy is just random jokes. And opera, there's a story to be told. Which I can also skip, I have to say. Only like, there's a few. And I'm into Verismo, that's it. Because Verismo tells the truth. It's not some made-up thing with kings and queens and heroes and blah. Bore me some more. So Casta Diva is great, but sitting through the whole thing, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. And these spectacular little large productions, I don't really know if that is relevant. So Verismo, here we're me to the Germans, here we go. Verismo is Puccini and Carmen, is a, Puccini is a composer and Carmen is an opera. That means not all the same operas from the same composer must be interesting. Okay, I, I take Mozart. Mozart has opera buffa, Mozart has different Dingspiel that I dig to. Of course, La Manching Flute, but Die Entführung aus dem Serai, I don't even know if I'm interested in that. Because Die Fantute, yeah, you watch it once and then you go and throw up on it. But Manching Flute, it's cute. It's also very sad. So Germans, they turned that whole thing around. They put like opera very modern. And I'm all up for minimalist and I'm all up for simple and that's like maybe I'd like to live like that no no clutter just simple but I think they brought it too far I actually went last time I went to Hamburg I went to see an opera and it was outrageous like the star now was dressed as a school girl instead of being the queen of England or so I don't remember, I have to make memory, but it doesn't matter for the fact that she had to wear like shorts or so. And then she was super fat and old. The whole thing was so outrageously ridiculous and stupid. And often they use it perhaps also to show body parts, like skin, which it is inappropriate. And in that regard, back to Mexico, El Festival Cervantino, where um, the little star soprano, Lourdes Amriz had a negligee on. Everyone was shocked. Still am. I don't think it's proper. But that's better than the Germans putting into trash what is ugh, ancient history. I don't think that works out. It's just there's no match. That's what it is.